Hello again, everyone. I'm Edge McKinnon. and welcome back to Let's Play the Z1M1 Randomizer. In the last episode, I believe we got, uh, let's see. See, that's the thing. Like, I haven't played in a few, uh, few days, weeks, months, who knows. Um, and I do remember I got the, the bombs for Samus. Um, and I've almost completed the Triforce here. We defeated Kraid, uh, as Samus as well. So there's that. Um, so now I, I, I don't know. I guess I'm like kind of retracing my steps here to see what all I'm missing. Oh, 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 oh. I remember something. I remember something that I need to do that I haven't done yet. And against better judgment, I'm gonna go do it. And that is get myself a blue ring. Because I could definitely use it right now. I think I do also have to do a lot of, like, backtracking because there are certain things I'm missing, like, oh, I don't know, the flute. Uh, actually, I should, uh, I should have my, I should have the magical rod equipped. It does more damage. Um, that's another thing we're looking for are, like, you know, the, the other weapons. My, you know, my other swords. Those would be cool if I got those. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Want, 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 worth. Okay. So, okay, yeah, we're not going in there just yet, because we're, I believe, if I remember correctly, the blue ring was over in the, uh, was over in the grave, in the place of the, uh, the Master Sword. So, we're gonna go do that. Yeah. Please don't. Okay. Uh. Oof. Yummy cottage cheese. Um. Not gonna bother chancing all of that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you want this? Try to take it. Eh, what? I don't have enough still? I need more? Oh. I will get you for this. Alright, so I guess I don't have enough heart containers to take that. Uh, which means I don't really want to go do Dungeon 6. Um... Actually, I guess I'm going to go back down and uh, enter the Lost Woods uh, Zeebus entrance, so that way... Well, yeah, now that we've got bombs for Samus, we should probably go doing some hunting, because there's a lot of stuff that I haven't gotten, because I never had the bombs. So let's go. Where are we at? Norfair. Okay. Norfair's fine. Mostly because, yeah, we got the screw attack. We got all sorts of great stuff. Um, yeah. We can do this. And with the, the wonderful world of the wave beam, nothing stops us. So now we can, yeah, I mean, like, there's stuff in Brinstar. Heck, there's stuff in Kraid's hideout we could still go get. There is just, I'll, yeah, there's there's just so much backtracking I can do right now. And it's going to take me a while to do all that backtracking. But who knows, some of this backtracking might be very, very important. Kill you and take your life essence. How about that? Huh? Oh, um, there's something that probably won't happen in this playthrough. Uh, but there is a glitch in Metroid. 
I don't know if it's really a glitch per se, but uh, it's something that can happen in the game. Um, and the giveaway of it is these uh, those little lava dudes, that guy there, um, called the Squeaked. Him. Um, if he if these guys jump all the way up to the ceiling, um, there's another thing that will happen where. Is that good enough? I think that is good enough. Yep. Um, <clears throat> if they jump all the way up to the ceiling, then the dragons that show up in the lava here will not breathe fire. It's like they just get something stuck in their throat for, for you know, forever. All right, what do we got? I'm glad that the uh, fire breath does not go through the uh, the floors there. All right, <gasps> missiles. More missiles. Okay. Um, you know, there's a couple more up upstairs a little bit. Yeah, that's interesting. That must be a uh, feature of the of the hat. What of the hack? In which uh, I guess. There's actually like collision detection for for the background when it comes to these uh, these little guys' fire breath. So that's cool. Nope, no, no, no. Yeah. Hate these disappearing, reappearing blocks. Uh, that's weird and not supposed to happen. <laughs> it's weird and I'm not sure I like it. Alright. Two more. Ooh, heart container. Sweet. That briefly morphed into the Varia sprite. That was weird. And <gasps> the bow. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, this opened up so many avenues for us. Bombs are key. Uh, can I get through here? Yes, I can. Should I go through here? I'm not sure. You know what? Never mind. Uh, so what's over here? I'm going to venture a guess and say nothing. Just a quick trip down to the bottom and glitch out the uh, the coloring here. Uh, that's fine. Perfectly okay. There. It's probably what I should have been doing all this time. Alright, so we already got this one. That's pretty much it for that. Yeah, that's really helpful that the, uh, the dragon breath doesn't just go through everything and uh, and murder me at every single opportunity. Although it is weird that the blocks are reforming to look like the um, the, 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 the control room uh, paneling. I don't know what's going on with that. Ah! Okay. We're fine. We're totally dandy here. So now, yeah, I can, like, go down here. Hmm, I've never been through here? I guess we'll go through here. Sometimes a screw attack wears off before uh, before you even land. <laughs> ha! 
All right. Yeah. Whew, okay. What is over here, anyway? I'm just hoping that, uh, because there's... Once we get to Ridley's hideout, there is a fairly impossible jump to make. Um, you probably know what I'm talking about. I'll point it out when I get to it, because I probably will get to it. Um, hopefully there's not anything super deluxe important in there, because otherwise that's going to suck. Oh, we got some more items. It's another heart container! Now I should be able to go back and, uh, and talk to Homeboy about my, about getting my blue ring. And money. How much money? Fifteen. Fifteen rupees. Hooray. And that is an impassable wall. How can I tell? Because of those, those big bubbles? are never breakable. Ever. So that ends that. And for whatever reason, you can destroy that block. I don't know why, but you can. Okay, so we've got the bow, which means um, we see Goma, you know, his, his butt's dead. So, you know, we can still investigate more of Norfair. We could go back up to Brinstar. We're just gonna, just gonna fun run our way through all this nonsense. Ow. Um, yeah, let's, you know what, let's, let's clear out, uh, Brinstar. And we'll keep rolling from there, what, uh, what say? Because there's not a whole lot left to do in Brinstar. Because Brinstar just had, like, you know, the, the few things that you needed to just get started with your adventure. And now they're whatever, so, you know. I'm actually a, a little bit grateful for this, uh, this, the graphic overlay of the map, just, especially with Metroid, because they're, uh, like, back when I would play this so much because I was a kid, um, I learned, like, the route I would take to uh, to completely finish Metroid, um, you know, I'd, I'd I'd bypass a good number of uh, missile tanks, cause you know you don't need all of them. I mean, heck, you know, beating beating each of the uh, of the sub bosses gets you like 75 missiles. So it's like 150 missiles just right there, and you do need a lot to get through Torian. Because, you know, each each Metroid's going to... Will you... Excuse me? Thank you. Um, each Metroid takes, like... Uh, five, five missiles to destroy. And by the way, these Red Rippers... You know how the other ones are pretty much indestructible? Not these guys. The other ones, yes. So we're going up to what I call the green zone. This is where you can normally get uh, the Varia suit. Which... Did I already get that? I don't think I have. 
No, I haven't even been up this... I haven't even been up this way. So there's like the various suit. I think there's like one other pickup that exists there. Then you can fall all the way back down past where you got the bombs normally. And yeah, pretty sure this dead ends just a little bit further up here. Pretty sure it dead ends just a little bit further up here. There it is. We go down here, go in here. The green zone. Oh yeah, and there's also uh, where I would normally get the ice beam. I don't think I've gotten that either. Oh man, so many, so many new things I can do. And getting hurt is just the beginning. And I'm back. I just had to take care of a little uh, personal business of mine. Ow! Get, uh, get out of here. So yeah, we are, um, we're on our way to get whatever the heck the Varia suit was. Maybe it's something good. So things are starting to come together. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm kind of hoping that I'm gonna find the the flute here pretty soon. Kind of hoping. Um, let's see, which side was it? Was it here? It was not here. Oh nope, it is here. Okay, and yep. Not even close. Let's try that again. It's right there, right there. Okay. Yeah, they say you need to, uh, you should freeze a, the, the waiver enemy that's in the corridor with you um, to in order to get up here. They don't, what they don't tell you is that that's an exercise in frustration because... Uh, waivers like to, you know, go all the way up into that little crevice you've made and then just come right back down again. Or they like, you know, buzz back and forth in indecision and then just like come right back down again. So it's easier to use the high jump boots. Um, it, in the main game, like it's pretty much like right, I think right down where, uh, where I bombed through. If that is just money, that's 15 rupees. That's not exciting. It's not exciting at all. But yeah, uh, that's the best way to get the Varia suit from there is to just go get the high jump boots. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, super hot uh, lava zones in this game because they didn't exist yet. Also, I'm uh, trying something different here. I'm playing, I, I, I'm still playing with my controller, but the controller is uh, hiding under a pillow because I noticed just how dang loud uh, the clickety clacking of the buttons and everything <laughs> were in my other videos. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna kind of mute that down a little bit. I wanna say there's something else in here. Yeah, you see that? That's pretty much what it would do, uh, just going all the way up and then all the way back down. You're using a, a very unpredictable and erratically moving enemy to make a precise jump, pretty much. Alright, these would be missiles. They are now still missiles. Alright. I thought. And this would be a energy tank. It's another heart container. So now, now we definitely should be able to uh, tell that old guy to hand over the, the blue ring. So I think that's pretty much it for the green corridor. So we're just gonna 
head on down here. Um, not there. That's that's where bombs would have been. Not there because I want to go get what used to be the ice beam. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else in Brinstar. I don't think there is. Should be the next one. All right. I mean, we're making solid progress for sure. I forget. Do I have the silver arrows? I think I already have. I might have the silver arrows already. Where is this opening? There you are. Um, that doesn't look like Pismo Beach to me. I could have sworn there were actual, like, um, you know, platforms down there, so maybe I'm misremembering my uh, directions. Again, it's been a very long time since I've last played, like, NES Metroid. <laughs> How about here? That's what I'm looking for. That's the good stuff. Whee! Oh god, these guys. This used to be the ice beam. It is now an energy tank. I'm cool with that. <laughs> I'll take a, I'll take extra life. I got two more, two more I can get. So yeah, that's and that that little speck down there. That's the magic book. We're not interested in the magic book. Honestly, I prefer the, the magic wand unupgraded. Just because then, you know, the, the fire doesn't hurt me. <laughs> that I accidentally shoot into my into my own face. So that is that. Um We could go back to Crate's hideout. Especially now that we know that we have the luxury of that uh, that shortcut door that leads back to Hyrule. Because I can tell you, doing that climb back after beating Kraid is not fun. At all. Because, yeah, I think there's... Yeah, there's, uh, there's quite a bit of... Uh, Quite a bit of swag left in uh, in the hideout, so you know, let's uh, let's take advantage of it. There could be a sword in there. There could be also there could be anything in there. That's the great thing about a randomizer. Uh, suddenly, you find yourself forced to check everything in the world. I'm sad this music never came back. That was the magic book, right? Yes. 
No interest, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I know that'll say, well, that's not 100% completion, Edge I said, I don't care about 100% completion. I care about completion. Period. Okay. Yeah, I can. I always remember Craig's hideout being like the scarier of the two places. Just because, you know, there were just so many different places, different ways to go, but yet also, like, everything was also seemed very one way. before that despawns. Good. So yeah, over here, I think is... Ooh. Oh my. That is important. Oh, I made it. That is Triforce piece number eight. We have one more Triforce piece to go before uh, we've got that going for us. But I think in this, in the randomizer here, the first goal is to kill Mother Brain. At which point, uh, anything that you left behind here is gone forever. Oh, I can go down here and just dump myself in the acid. Awesome! Or not. Nope, I'm just getting hit for no reason. Way to play me, guys. Way to play me. There we go. Ooh, nice. Bye. Hmm. <laughs> gotta be careful, too, because those things will, uh, can and will go through the, uh, the, the doors, the, the doors on you. Like, they don't stop them. All right. So. Let's see. Yeah, didn't I say that over here was like a place you could go through the, the acid question mark? Well, now I'm going to do it because now we don't have anything else better to do. And there's stuff down there, and I want that stuff. Or maybe there's not a way down that way. Okay. We'll try going this way then. Oh. Um. I forget how I forget the timing on this. And I clearly can't do it with this, so I can oh, oh. I can try to just hold the the button down and see what that gets me. Doesn't seem like it's gonna get me very far. It's almost working. Almost working. Almost working. Almost working. But then not quite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just, just, just a little bit higher. Just a little bit higher, Samus. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I'm not gonna waste too much time doing this, though. No, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Okay. Oh goody. Oh, maybe I gotta go back up 
to that other one. Maybe? I want to say yes. <laughs> and in my moment of indecision, I got blasted back through the door. Fun! This now I gotta make the climb, and it hurts to make this climb. Ugh. Uh huh. All right, let's get in here. There's something here, and I want it. It's just more missiles. <laughs> I, I, I kind of still want missiles, but I kind of don't want missiles. <sighs> okay, well. Well, so there you go. I I made the climb anyway. Which is amazing, because I really hate doing that climb. <laughs> no time to talk. Must go. Um... So I guess I gotta go back through this door here. How do I get through there? Because I'm pretty sure that other way does not link up. I mean, granted, I don't go this way very often, so... Wait, there's nothing up here, is there? No. Multi-kill! So I guess I gotta get up to this one then, because one of these, one of these was the ones where I wasn't sure if it was the, the like fake, the fake acid bath. Yeah, now that I got the screw attack, ain't nothing. Except when I miss it. want to go. Thank you. So yeah, this was the one I think where I wasn't sure. Oh, this is a one-way trip. This is a one-way trip. <laughs> no regrets, I hope. <laughs> I was going to say, and then I am stuck with the side hopper in the room, and now he's probably going to be back. Okay. Hmm. 
Dang it. <laughs> when in doubt, use missiles. Alright, so what's over here? In this place I never go to. <gasps> In the place I never go to, they put one of the most important things of all. The White Sword. Oh, damage upgrade for Link. Finally. Oh, man, I was so desperately asking for that. So now there should be something else just down here, right? I mean, there is. It's just... It's just that. Which looks like that leads down, I would imagine. How do you get to that? There's like three items there. How do you get to those? I don't understand. I don't want to do this again. Mostly because... Mostly because my controller doesn't work with this kind of like uh, expert timing stuff anymore. Yeah, I don't have this kind of uh, skill anymore here, guys. Uh, how the heck do you get to that? Because there's no other doors. It's just this. And there ain't no way to, to get up into this place unless you're, like, super expert. But I'm not super expert. Oh, oh! Mm. You saw that, right? <laughs> you saw how close I was. Uh, oh, pain. <sighs> Ugh. It seems like I can do it, and then I don't do it, but then I can do it, and then I don't do it. Yeah. Oh my god, I made it! I've never really been in here before. Power bracelet. There seem to be some pretty good stuff in here, too. Oh, I can just I can just walk through those. Alright. More missiles. <gasps> yeah, you'll notice how uh, that version of Kraid isn't making the same kinds of noise that the other one is. And it seems like I can hurt those thorns, but... Oh, yeah, and I can also just, like, screw attack them. There's one more thing here, and it's just bombs. Six bombs. Okay. He's fine, thank you. I could have come down here from up there. Alright, whatever. So yeah, he's... He's back. He's facing the wrong way now. 
And yeah, I can yeah just totally totally waste him with the screw attack. That's how you know he's not the real boss. Okay, so we've done that. <clears throat> so now... So, what's that other door? I guess it's just a red herring. Alright. Excuse me. <laughs> I was not done. Or is this it? I think this is it. Yep, this is it. Okay. This is gonna carpet bomb a place or something. Alright, so then we loop back around here. So this proved very useful. Um, there's still some things I can't quite do yet in Zelda World. But I'm pretty sure I can get the uh, the blue ring, which means I can definitely do uh, Dungeon 6 a little bit more confidently. So there's that. So we're we're looking good. So really like I mean fortunately take taking that other path, like if I just decided I could not make that other uh super bomb jump there, uh, I guess it wouldn't have been any big deal because or would it? No, because... I don't know. I, I don't know. But you know what? We're, we, we've done it. We're there. We're moving on. We're gonna get that blue ring. Excuse me, sir. We're just, we're just not going to talk about that, what just happened there. Not going to talk about it at all. Alright, I think... Hmm. We've made some significant, semi-significant progress. Um, from the looks of things, yeah, the, the, from the looks of things now, we're going to, we should probably go to, like, Norfair and more than likely Ridley's hideout so that way that can be done but now we have all we have like money we've got a lot of life too um let's see we got the bait right yes we do and we do have silver arrows so now it's just a matter of finding the that one last Triforce piece wherever the hell that is um, I forget, have I done Dungeon 5? I don't know, I'm going to find out.
looks like it. And it looks also like uh, Dungeon... Or is Dungeon 5 Dig Dogger? I don't think he was. Maybe he was. Oh, I do remember this lime green, though. Yeah. This probably was... I think this was actually Dig Dogger, now that I'm thinking about it. So we can't... we can't do this. But there are things we can do now. Um, in fact, let's finish this episode on a happy note. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this, didn't I? Pretty sure I got this. Yeah, I got that. Alright, so what I'm looking for then is... Going to the cemetery, we're gonna go get that, um... We're gonna go get the blue ring, and then that's probably gonna be it for this episode. Probably ran a little long. Plus, I forget exactly how long I've been running, because... I had that little interruption earlier, so... Is there a quicker way to get get there, like, across the water here? I mean, I've got the power... I've got the power glove, or the power bracelet. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Ow. That's not going towards the cemetery. Neither is this, really, I don't think. Oh, it kind of is. Oh, there we are. Okay. Because then up that way is... is Wizrobe Death. But up this way... You want this? Try to take it. I'm gonna. Mine! And I'm a nice deep shade of blue. My eyebrows are a nice dark blue. Because that's how I set it up to be. <laughs> it, uh, it, it looks about as awkward as it feels. Oh well, that's fine. Um, ah, stop. So now we take half damage, which is nice. Um, I really don't want to do Dungeon 6, but, um, well, as you can see, there's not a whole lot left in the world to, uh, to collect, <laughs> at least not here, until I go into more dungeons and be able to beat more bosses. But, you know, we're, we're, we're making progress, I guess that's the important thing. So, uh, until next time, I have been Educated, and now so have you. I thank y'all so very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of this wonderful, wonderful randomizer. Bye-bye.